as we can see pretty quickly when we open this thing up. Well, welcome back to Love with a Classic, and we're doing a video I've been asked for for a long time. We're going to have a look at the timing chain tensioners on a Jagger V8. The first generation of Jagger V8s have issues with the upper timing chain tensioners there. Next generation, the 4.2s, like we have in my wife's supercharged Range Rover, completely fine, no issues. Then the 5 liters have their own issues. I'm not even going to get into those. This is a 4 liter supercharged at an XJR. It's been sitting for a couple of years. Um, the owner is the second owner of the car, really loves it, but he parked it for a couple of reasons. One is the interior thing he has sorted out, but the second thing is he did not have any documentation that this has been done or not. I think it has been done. It's really, really not common to find cars nowadays that hasn't had the upper time chain tensioner replaced with the la latest one, which is actually good. What happens in the old ones is they crack and then they fail and... Um, yeah, it's expensive. So I'm going to show you how to just have a look at it. It's pretty easy. Fortunately, you can't just look into the engine. You need to actually take apart the uh, valve covers. So we're going to do that, get in there, have a look. But it's pretty straightforward, even on an engine like this with the supercharger. I'm initially just going to tear down one side. We'll take this side just because the intake is on the other. And it also has a couple codes. It's not running in every cylinder. It has a misfire in cylinder one and cylinder two, which are two front cylinders. So um, later on, probably in a separate video, we're gonna have a look at that issue as well. It has a couple other codes also. It goes into limp mode sometimes. So, you know, a couple of things, but pretty normal when one of these sits for a while. So in here, behind this cover where it says Jaguar. We're gonna clean everything up as well so it makes it look nice. It's, we have the coils and then we have spark plugs in there. You can leave the plugs in, just remove the coils. There's a wiring harness that you pull to the side and then you have just a couple bolts around here and you pull up the whole valve cover. So we're gonna do that, get in here and then have a look up here where the timing chain tensioners are. Got two more bolts here left on the cover. One thing we're also going to check when you pull out the uh, coil packs, even if you're not going to take the valve covers off. Whenever you check them, make sure that there's no oil on them. Because that is uh, pretty common on any engine that uses this sort of uh, uh, valve cover. And that will give you misfire codes as well. There we go. Here are the coils. You see it's pretty straightforward. You can't really connect them wrong. So just disconnect them. And I believe it's actually the same size. Yeah, seven millimeter as well. So undo all those, pull out the coils. And then we can get to the other bolts around here. Let's see, this was one of the cylinders with a misfire. I said we're not, probably not gonna tackle that in this video, but be very interested to see if there's oil on it. No, it's nice and dry. So either a bad coil or a bad plug. Really nice and dry so far. All good. We'll lay them out here. Time to, um, there's just a little line up there. These can all be moved to the side. And then the dipstick gets moved to the side as well. And undo all the bolts around here. And we should be able to lift it straight off. All the bolts should be loose now. On this side you have the dipstick. You can just, if it's stuck in the bottom, which it always is, the little bracket here, you can just bend it up carefully a little bit, get it out of the way so you can get to that bolt. I think most of this should be loose. The bolts are meant to stay in place with little grommets. Sometimes they do come out though. That's okay. And it's always a little bit fiddly. You don't want to drop anything.
There we go. There's always some bolt that still has some threads on it. Then I've removed the loom from the front here, which is unclipped it. And there's the gasket. All right. As we can see pretty quickly when we open this thing up, it's the plastic one. And actually, is it? No, that's not crack. They tend to crack down here. I can't actually see any. This one's in good condition. However, they're a ticking time bomb. It's really only the secondary one uh, that you have major issues with. And that's the one that gives you no, no warning at all. The lower one, if you have issues with those tensioners, which is less common, you'll get a warning. You'll hear, you know, chain slap when you start up. Uh, this one doesn't give you any warning. If an owner says, oh, it's running nice and quiet and chains, no issues, this thing can go. However, if you replace it to the last iteration, this one, which is the only one you can buy nowadays, which is all metal one, so it's like that, then you're good to go. Also, this was fixed in the later 4.2 liter engines. So this is in the, uh, all the early V8s have this issue. It's not that common to see cars anymore that have them, but you know, some people still have the original like this one. So I'm gonna talk to the owner, tell him uh, the news and give him a quote on replacing these. Well, that's really it for this video. I've spoken to the owner. He wants me to do the upper timing chains. So uh, I will be doing those in a couple weeks. I have a little bit of trip I'm going to, but after that, come back, we'll do those. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you want to see a video of that? I think it's been done, you know, before on YouTube. Not really sure, but probably because it's pretty common on these. But let me know if that's something you want to see in the comments down below. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with friends. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Till next time, I'm Adam. This is Lumen the Classic. I'll see you soon.